Good morning, everybody. This is Max Farrell from DexEffectsMarkets.com. Today is the 23rd of October, 2018, and this is your daily update. So we're talking about the Z Don. And if you're wondering why I sound like Frogman from Borneo, it's because I got a vicious kid cold. I know, kid colds. You know, those colds that the kids bring home wherever they seem necessary and along with their sneakers on the floor, it goes a nice little chest cold. Great. So here's my world today. Um, yesterday, we did really well. Oh, by the way, if you want to find where to go to see these awesome results for the Z Don, uh, even in when you're not logged in, there'll be a special section. Um, you'll be able to hover over portals, go to Zedon portal, go to Zedon results. You go DexEffectsMarkets.com forward slash Zedon dash results, and you'll bring up this page. Uh, this page has several of our other people that were in testing. There's still some in their testing. There's still some in their trading live uh, and trading live manual. We have manual traders in there. We have uh, Autobot traders in there. We got them all in there. But this is where you'll find my spreadsheet on how I test and how I work. The very first week that we started, September 3rd to the 15th, I did a heck of a... I was still doing a lot of manual trades. And I did pretty well. Um for that for that first week the second week i didn't do any manual trades and i just leaned back on my haunches no I, actually i was working a lot uh on the zedon release in that in that process so i didn't get a chance to really do a lot and i was testing a little bit with the five minute auto trader at the time as well i've recently since pulled back on the five minute auto trader since it takes just as much time to trade with that as it does for manual for me because i want to sit and watch it and make sure it's doing its job properly those things can go rampant quick so we got to be very careful so the five minute trader is still here. We just don't know if we're going to be releasing it as a product yet. So please keep that in mind as we move forward. I'm not really trading any five minute uh, this week. I might trade a little bit tomorrow in doing that, but there's a lot of news happening. So I might be pulling back. And excuse me because I'm extremely tired from this cold keeping me up all night. Um, manual one hours didn't trade too much. The manual daily has a, a different growth with me. I was talking to one of our clients yesterday. And we, we started talking about, you know, when you're doing the manual testing, you've already have the experience with testing with dailies. Why don't you go for the gusto? So I did. And I did a uh, manual trade on USD JPY. I checked to make sure that the numbers were really good on the ATM as well as the market value. So I used a little bit of chart value in that as well. So I, I knew that it was going to be a very good trade to be able to get on. And so I went for my limit, which is 10 contracts. And I did pretty well, $28 per contract uh, after fees and got my 28 bucks. Now this was an ATM mode, which is out of the, at the money mode. So it, it didn't raise up to 35, which some people wanted to get into. Uh, I was able to get into 30. I think it went to the highest is $33 profit margin on each one, uh, but we ended up getting it at 30. Excuse me. And, um, but I didn't do any manual two hour trades. That was the only one I really did. And it was late in the evening. Uh, but we, I ended up getting the trades on. Um, let's go over and have a look at the auto Z den and what it did so far for the week. I'll scroll down here. Here's where we left off yesterday. Now, yesterday morning, um, I did the, I did the, the update right around nine o'clock, nine thirty. So we didn't get all these other ones. So since I talked to you yesterday, we did about $138 worth of, of, of trades. Okay. Uh, we did have a loss yesterday morning, as I stated. Uh, so it, it was a little disconcerting to have the loss, but hey, you know what? Losses are, are there. Okay. So that's, that's just the way it is. So Throughout the day, I had a couple more trades. There was a bad section of yesterday, but I missed it because I, I had 15, at the 1500 hour, three o'clock, I didn't have any signals fired off. When I see a whole string, because we have, we have a tremendous amount of data on, on this system. So when I see an entire string series of, of bad trades happening, even though that it has maybe one or two that have a really good, uh, good position let me jump down here and which what i'm talking about is this 1500 hour uh i don't even trade that i i sort of pulled off the whole thing when you get something that's this bad over a 30-day period i even pulled off these two i didn't even trade those two the usd chf and usd jpy aren't even in my portfolio right now why because overall the timing if you get a tremendous amount of bad luck or a bad 
trades that happen during that time, it doesn't matter that this is sitting at 100%. It's just a matter of time for that fails. That time period is very difficult, sort of the end of the day. It's the last time that these uh, shorter term ones will trade. So we kicked it. I, well, I kicked it. I kicked it off of the, the availability. So that's that's basically in a nutshell. Now, time frames like 1400 that have been doing really good. You could even go down and check the yearly stats. Uh, that'll have a really good process and see that the 1400 hour has some, it even has a couple hundreds or has a single hundred in there. That's pretty damn good. That means that over the last two months, it's been running at 100%. And which one is that? That's a Uruguay Britain pound. Um, I would hunt out ones that that absolutely have 100% on that yearly and be like, okay, <laughs> you're my uh, you're, you're my one. Now, it, the system hasn't been out for more than a year yet for the one and two hours. Uh, so, but I don't think we have any 100 percenters on the dailies or, or ATMs yet. Uh, or I don't think we've ever had 100 percenters that lasted more than two months. Excuse me. But that doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> so I was able to negate the process a little bit by I, I didn't lose uh, any trades yesterday except for the one at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, just so you know, some of you know. Now listen. When you check my results against your own results, you're going to have something a little bit different than what I have because I go in and I manipulate mine. I work with my numbers. I I do a lot of stuff with mine, okay? So you can have a lot of trades that are exactly like mine and then you're going to have some results that are not because I physically turn my Zidon bot system on and off periodically throughout the day and I may miss some trades. I may stay completely out. I don't use news avoidance, but I do look at market values and I look at other things, Um because I'm seeing how I can use it to its fullest degree, okay? You use it straight out of the box in the default manner with no news avoidance or with news avoidance or what have you. Uh, please keep in mind that your results are going to be different than mine, all right? So it's not that you can go and copy exactly what I do to make the same exact results. Your results may vary. Keep that in mind as you move forward with us because there is a lot of of people that want to sort of emulate what we do so they know it's real. But this is also you learning how to use the system as best as possible. Okay? All right. Well, we have a brand new beta that is coming out. So we got beta point one, 1.0 that re, uh, released last week. Uh, we have 1.1 that's going to be releasing here tonight or tomorrow, uh, probably more tomorrow morning. Uh, and it, it's looking pretty good. I'll give you a quick sneak peek at it right now. A couple of the big changes that we did <clears throat> is one, we added a refresh button up here to the top right-hand corner in case the system gets stuck. We come up here and simply click refresh, uh, and boom, the whole thing will refresh. Uh, we've also put in, uh, while the system is active, we put in a um, the strategy uh, process in here that you can check and move stuff around. You can change the data. You can put in extras, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can you can do that on the fly now and then hit save and it'll save it to your process on the fly. Um, we still are working on some of the smaller bugs with uh, it not selecting some of the time frames. And we're definitely looking at the news avoidance process uh, to, to see how that can if that can be added or what have you. Uh, but I don't think that's going to come out for that this this next following release. So but this is a pretty cool. Um, we have it. It's still expanding pretty good. You have the, the safe on, safe off uh, process. Now, if you're using the system, please keep in mind, don't open up a bunch of windows in here. Don't have my account open and and all this other stuff in here and go, hey, I don't know why it's failing. It's try to limit the amount of stuff that you do in here. This isn't a trading platform uh, for you per se to go in and do a whole bunch of manual trades. If you want to do that, shut this off and go trade manual. Okay, don't try tra tra trading manual here and wonder why you, you're getting iffy, iffy results, okay? Because this is not for that. This is for the automational series and the signals to fire through them uh, to be able to do that, okay? So keep that in mind as we move forward into this next phase of beta release, which is coming. Uh, we are trying to take your, your suggestions on making it easier uh, within the process, but please keep in mind that we are always trying to keep everybody's... Uh, process in mind but we also know that you know we want to we want to be able to fulfill our goals but we still have to just like with everything else be patient and disciplined to find our consistency with this product so we can all reach our goal okay all right that's basically all i have for you 
I'm Max Farrow. This is DexFXMarkets.com. I look forward to seeing you inside. Hey, also, if you're watching this on YouTube or you find it on YouTube, please click that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. You know, it helps us bring as many people as we can to this process. Uh, we only have, I think it's like a little under 200 licenses left out of 300 on this system. So we're doing very well with bringing people on. And if you know anybody that wants to learn how to trade or work from home or do something to that effect, please have them give us a write and we'll get it right on board with them. I'm Max Farrell. This is DexFXMarkets.com. This has been your daily update for October 23rd, 2019. I look forward to seeing you inside. And as always, trade well.